Oh boy, if it ain't the town bicycle coming through. Hey Rarity, how much mileage does a lady get before she needs an oil change if you catch my drift? A whole lot more mileage than she gets if she's just rusting in the parking lot. I start one little rumor this month about you having a uterine tumor, and you just will not let it die. So what are you doing here? Don't tell me that we're going on another adventure. I don't rightly know. I just got a letter from Twilight saying that we urgently needed to meet her here at the treehouse tonight. And they're planning a massive thunderstorm. I bet you're going to be tracking all your mud pony mud into everyone's houses. At least my messes don't call for a good bleach scrub. <laughs> Except for that disgusting scratchy mess that you call hair. Hey! You guys, Rarity and Applejack, my two friends. Uh, hello there, Twilight. How are y'all doing today? Yes, I mean, I'm feeling great. So good, in fact, because some guards came by and took Spike away for questioning, and I just know that they're gonna realize that I've been taking my friendship assignment super seriously, and I love you guys. Oh. In that case, if you or anyone else is listening, I would be ecstatic to meet Prince Blueblood. <laughs> Rumor is that he's gay, and conceited like he's a rooster with the world's biggest rooster dick, but I bet you would extort someone over that. Yeah, come inside. Friends, don't stand out in the rain. So, uh, we're here for friendship studies, is that right? Yeah, the same thing that we do every night, if anybody asks. In fact, I was thinking tonight we could do a slumber party, and, and like, catch up on each other's personal interests. Fun, huh? A slumber party? What are we, kids? Mentally or physically, because just go with it. I never had slumber parties when I was a kid, and Celestia knows it, so I could probably study this. Uh, how come you never had sleepovers? Not a very social kid? Nah. I just had a ridiculous lifetime of homework crammed into every solitary day of my life. I'd sleep for four hours, then catch small naps between work throughout the day. Stress usually kept me up anyway. Well, fact remains that we are too old for a slumber party, and you had better have some kind of luxurious futon, because I refuse to sleep on the floor. Yeah, the slumber party thing is just semantics. I got you guys covered. I've got a hard cider for AJ and a daiquiri for rarity. Oh, you know how to mix a daiquiri. Great, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I know how to mix every drink in the book. Wait here, companions. Well, this is a real treat. Here I thought she'd finally lost her mind and was about to ask us to play Twister. I mean, imagine me with some filthy flea-ridden mud pony. I don't know if I even feel like drinking. You know, Rarity, a lot of slumber parties involve just watching a movie and going to bed. Really? My parents were okay with co-ed slumber parties, so I used to do that thing where you would go in the closet. You know, you spin the bottle, then go in a wardrobe for seven minutes and titter because you can't see what you're groping. I ain't never been to one of those parties. <laughs> That's because I never invited you. Okay, got a ponus cider for Applejack, and here's the daiquiri for Rarity. What is this? It's a daiquiri for Rarity! Well, now it's on the floor. That was not a daiquiri. Yes, it is. Rum, lime, juice, syrup, daiquiri. What about the strawberry smarty pants? Or the fact that it should be a slush? Those are the parts that make it a daiquiri. That's a frozen strawberry daiquiri. That's a specific variant of daiquiri. And I hope you like the one that I gave you because you're sitting in it, you ass. What I gave you was a standard non-frozen daiquiri. And now there's glass all over the floor. Ugh, don't blow a blood vessel. Just call Spike out here and have him clean it. He's not here. They took him away. How was that not like a, a crucial thing that you processed? Oh, right. Well, slumber party rules. One, two, three, not it. What? Oh. <sighs> okay, not it. Twilight, seriously? I was waiting for you to call her out on it, come on! She made the mess, she oughta clean it! No, no, no. This is a slumber party, it's all about fun and relaxation, so you have to clean up the broken glass. Uh, is it still bleeding? No, I think it stopped. That was so ridiculous. I forget how dependent a mud pony is on its mouth. What do you do after you've used the restroom? Rarity, I'm shocked that y'all don't already know everything there is to know about licking buttholes. Twilight, I gotta be honest. I'm not having a real good time, and I don't feel like I'm bonding with either of you. You learned a new reason to hate Rarity tonight. Okay, but if I can lay some blame, a pony with magic strong enough to rip Rarity in two pieces was supportive of her decisions. AJ. 
we can't compromise the friendship study by murdering Rarity. It would make it impossible to do repeat testing, and then the results would be bunk. Can't y'all just make up some folksy wisdom like always? Like, two ponies, something, something, ain't got nothing in common, can't be friends just because they have one mutual friend, and that's why the real giants are found in the heart. No? I think I've got to actually write something tonight. Why doesn't AJ just leave? You could say that you got in a fight, and something, something, heart of the cards, you learn from failure. Meh. Yeah. I mean, Rarity put it stupid, but if your story always has some kind of positive happy ending, Celestia's probably gonna realize that the entire thing is fictitious. Okay, that's a fair argument. Oh my, but the rain is really coming down hard now. I think I'll stick around. Right. I'll just borrow one of your umbrellas here and tough it out. Thanks for the cider, Twilight. I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.